What was your uh, earliest memory of rugby league as a kid? Oh, back at kindy, probably. We had a wee league team back in kindy. I was about three, probably, hitting it up. But yeah, that was when it all took off for me, playing league. What, uh, what position did you play? Oh, standoff. I was pretty good. I used to uh, do the old Sunny Bill offload all the time, set the boys up through the gap, but yeah, nah, oh, it was all good. When did you, uh, when did you turn to coaching? Uh, well, I've always, always been a really good coach, you know, the boys sort of look up to me and think I'm pretty cool, but yeah, nah, just one of those things that evolves, you know, like evolution, you just carry on from playing to being a coach, yeah. Who's been some of your uh, favourite players or your inspiration? Well, my dad, obviously, but um, not that he actually played league, but never mind. Um, oh, Stacey Jones, he's always pretty good. And of course, I had a cousin playing league. His name was Clayton, Clayton Friend. He's a good wee halfback. He was, he was. No fear. No, no fear. fear. Who's, uh, obviously, you support the Auckland Warriors. Who's been your favourite warrior? Oh, Stacey Jones. He's my man. So this uh, this block league team uh, of yours, the Rhinos, and the tournament itself, how do you think it's gone in its uh, inaugural year? What? Inaugural. Okay, what's that mean? Pretty good, really. Uh, uh, a bit disappointing I missed out on that first game because I think that's where uh, we had it won, but I wasn't there, so what could I do? The boys were a bit lost. What happened in the first game? What happened? Oh, I don't know. They played it when I wasn't even here. So I think you've got to talk to Mr Rowe about that from the Panthers. It was oh, his decision. I, just, I was just gutted. The boys were a bit gutted too, so... Do you think Mr Rowe had too much say for being a new, new kid on the block? I think he probably did, you know. Uh... And speaking of the games today... Obviously, you guys play the uh, the Wasps, and you think you're going to win that. Who do you think is going to win the final? Oh, Mr. Napier's team. The Tigers. Yeah, they've got some they've got some good boys that hit it up, and uh, I think yeah, Mr. Rose's team is going to lack a bit of defence. I think they can't tackle, so yeah, the boys will just run straight through them. And what about the coaching styles of both Mr. Rowe and Mr. Napier? You've been around. What have you noticed? Well, Mr Napier's got a few years on Mr Rowe, obviously. And Mr Napier, well, he plays code, but I think he's <clears throat> he, know, he knows the score when it comes to league too. He watches a bit of TV. So, yeah, um, oh, no, I just think the experience of Mr Napier, like, he's got a lot of years, a lot of years hit the ball up. It's, it's been great, and Mr Rowe's just a spring chicken just a spring chicken, so, you know, maybe you would say he was a spring ostrich, but we'll stick with chicken, but yeah, no, I don't think he's got the legs. I don't think he's got the legs. Will you be up to coach next year? Oh, I'll have to have a look in my diary, see what's, see what's on. After this round, they're probably chasing me for a bit of, I don't know, even Codroy over there, I think they're pretty pretty uh, hard up for coaches, so you never know, I might be over coaching Codroy, maybe. What, rugby union? Oh. They got a rugby union team. Not a very good one. Oh, I don't know. My boys play for Green Island. They're pretty tough at Green Island. Southern? Uh, Southern. We just had in Vicago or somewhere. <laughs> what? See you later. Hey, it's good to talk to you. Okay. Catch up. Get back, back to work. Okay, cheers. Tigers or Panthers? Tigers. Sorry? Tigers all day. Oh, yeah. Tigers? Yes. Yes. Tigers. Mr. Napier, coach of the Tigers, how are you feeling going into today? Oh, we're reasonably confident. Um, you know, playing the round robin, you know, I don't think we were full strength and we got to have a good look at the Panthers. They're a good side. You're coming right at the right end of the season and you're getting a couple of key players back from uh, off field issues so to speak. Yeah well that was a big thing we mentioned that at the start of the year and the start of the season that you know you had to kind of earn your spot in the team and you know those boys have come back pretty well they're pretty pretty excited about being back in the team and 
Now, I understand there's a little bit of animosity between you and, and Mr. Rowe. Will that uh, brew into something today, or will you just try and keep your distance? Well, I'd like to think it was just a bit of friendly banter uh, between the two coaches, but, uh, you know, he's, he's been getting under my skin a little bit about it. So I don't think he's as bad as uh, Block 1, the Ulster, Mr. Olsen, but, um, you know, no, I, think he's, uh, I think he's trying some different tactics on me. I'm trying to, trying to sort me out, but it's, it's water for ducks back when it comes to uh, the Tigers, no problem at all. Uh, no, I think well, as a coach, I like to stay calm if there's any uh, sort of voice raising and just getting the boys pumped. Uh, but I'll be, I'll be staying calm. Um, well, I think we're going pretty well. Um, a few things that we've worked on over the last week that we're really going to look to implement today in today's game. Uh, I think the boys will really get up for it. There have a few off field issues. Um, how do you think that's going to affect your team? Well, I think it, I see it as a positive for us. I mean, we've. Um, been really solid as a team and, and made sure that we've really uh, given our best efforts towards this team. And so we see that as a weakness to them. That's affected some of the stuff at their camp, not in ours, and we're going to look to really jump on them for that. A couple of key players for you, mm. um, obviously Captain Tim Dippy. Absolutely, yes. Uh, who else has stood out? Um, I think Cole, Cole Garrett's definitely had a big few games, and Jordan Hand's been leading the, um, the pack from standoff position playing very, very well. So we'll look for those boys to really bring their best, best game today. Who's the guy with the best name in your team? Definitely Matthew Penny Amina. He runs a short ball like no one else, and so he'll look to use that today as well. Pick the score, please. Uh, I think it'll be tight. Um, the conditions might come to play, but I think uh, I think it could come, come down to, say, like a 10-9 score. 10-9, like high scoring. Nine five Tigers. Five nine Panthers. So the Panthers are gonna score five? No. Five nine Panthers is winning. Oh, see, really see, out there. No. Nine five Tigers say. Just say nine five. Right. Nine five Panthers. Nine five Panthers. Tim, Derry and the Dippy, uh, finals day today. Yep. How do you think you boys will go? Uh, we're well Fred, I think we'll go good. Uh, who do you see as the their strengths and where do you see their weaknesses? Um, I feel like their strength is in some of their big runners, the Shade and Tane, and um, weaknesses is uh, not really sure about them, but I think they're a good team. What about what about your strengths and your weaknesses from for the Panthers? Um, I think we've got a solid backline, and I don't think we really have much weaknesses. Have you enjoyed the competition? Yeah, it's been really fun. What other sports could we play for block versus block? Um, we have a union tournament as well, and maybe a futsal. Futsal? Soccer. Football. Football. Mr. Martin doesn't like soccer. <laughs> Finals time, Jed, captain of the Tigers. How do you think you go today's game? Um, I think we'll go good. Who do you have to watch out for on the Panthers' side? Um, Cole Garrett's dangerous, and Tim Duffy and Jordan Hand. What about from the SCNs? Tyler Summers. You've had a few off-the-field issues with the likes of Shade and Tane not doing their schoolwork and Alex McLean coming back in for his debut in the final. Big ask, have they been disruptive to the team or have you uh, just got on with business? Uh, they sort of have been, but we've got on with business. Okay then, who's going to win? Us. And how many tries do you think you'll score? Seven. How many tries do you think they'll score? So you think the score will be 7 6 to you guys? Yeah. Right, boys, you are the two captains for today's final. Uh, you're about to shoot for Juice. Uh, we've got to find out who's going to be actually kicking the goals for Juicy. So you two are battling it out to play uh, rugby golf or kicking golf. Uh, what you've got to do is how many shots it takes you to kick a rugby ball from where we're standing to hitting the crossbar of that nearest post. Shoot for juice. Ah! I'm going to shoot for juice. If I get it, did 
today's winning team will all get juicies next term. I used to kick back at school. Under 15 wild cats. <laughs> Over the truck as well. Okay, but again, contact is where it starts. Because we hit harder than them, we run faster than them, and we run harder than them. Okay? Frozen juices. Well thank done. you. Any words, Jim? Uh, good game. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank yeah. you.